see. Um, Marcel. Oh, okay. Is here and Dina is here. But oh. I'm gonna wear. They're in a salon. Okay. <laughs> so I said, they will explain much more about it, but here you just kind of. Hi. Hi. Uh, Are you staying here? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Can I talk to you uh, about that? Well, the empty, the pop-up, you know, because it's abandoned for years and years. Oh, these are so much better. I think it's okay. If not, I promise I won't. You either make good use of their time or, you know, send them out. Yeah. Thank you, Elsa. We're going to go to the No, and also quickly. Can she speak to Elsa quickly? Yeah. Apart from Yeah. Can that? Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. sorry, I will come up and they say how much. Uh, we make our own prices and I say it's, I offer uh, blowjob and sex for 50 euros uh, and it's either yes or no. If yes, they come in, we have a good time and then they leave. Since how long are you doing this? Uh, I've been doing uh, sex work since I was about 17 years old, uh, but I've been doing Windows specifically since I think February or March of this year. And you're not from the Netherlands? No, I'm from the United States. And why, why did you come here? Uh, because the United States is not safe <laughs> for anybody, much less for, for sex workers. <laughs> and we are here uh, because of the AIDS conference. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for, for sex workers like you? AIDS, is that, is that something that you fear? or? No, and that's because I know people who have HIV and who have AIDS and with medical technology and, you know, modern medicine, it's, it's not something to really be concerned about as far as how it affects my life. You know, I'm very safe and I use condoms and uh, when I don't use condoms it's only with my private partners. Uh, I'm married but I'm polyamorous so I do have multiple partners. And, it's always about, you know, trust and consent and keeping yourself tested. And, you know, life so, happens, so if it happens, you just deal with it. So you you do you do test regularly? I do, yes. Uh, it's not mandatory to be tested in the Netherlands because that violates our autonomy. Um, because, you know, you being a journalist, you don't have to get tested for your job, so why would we have to get tested for ours? Um, it's our body and our choice. Um, but there are places where we can go, like PNG 292 here in Amsterdam, uh, where testing is free. And so I do take them up on that service, and I get tested every other month. So you don't fear if I No, I don't. Um, you know, I can't have children anyway, uh, so it literally wouldn't affect my life at all. Okay. <laughs> And a connection with people. I like that I'm able to offer a service to make people physically feel good. It's nice. So it's a little bit self-fulfilling and it's good money. You know, nobody is going to do their job if they're not being properly compensated for it. So I get to make my own hours and do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. And until, just until when are you going to do this? Are you going to stop one time? No, I want to do this when I'm like 90 in like a wheelchair. Oh. Please don't take pictures without permission. No, okay. Thank you. Can I have your permission? Yes. <laughs> you just have to ask for it. Yes, no, please. Thank you.